I'm Ashley James and this is Cuisine Culture. Today we're in the jewel of the Nevada desert, Las Vegas. Over the last decade, some of the world's finest chefs have fled to Vegas, making Vegas one of the world's finest culinary destinations. I have a special surprise for you. We are going to be meeting one of the world's masters, Monsieur Guy Savoie. Join us back in the kitchen where we are going to be cooking some awesome, authentic French dishes. Not just any old dishes, but they are Guy's signature dishes. We are going to be starting off with an exciting, elegant dish called Colors of Caviar. For the main course, or the entree, a bar. What is a bar? It's a sea bass. Sea bass with its scales. And for the dessert, a little surprise. It's one of Guy's mother's family favorite recipes. I'm Chef Ashley James. When I'm not catering to the demands of stars in LA, I'm touring the world cooking with culinary geniuses. Take your gourmet passport and learn how to cook like a master chef and eat like a celebrity. Savoie, without doubt, is one of the world's finest chefs with his restaurant here in Vegas with two Michelin stars. And in Paris, he has Guy Savoie Paris with three Michelin stars. We're going to start the day off. We're going 60 miles from here into rural Nevada to an interesting hydroponic farm. So here we are at Hydro Green Farms, just 60 miles from Guy's restaurant in Vegas. And can you believe it? We're in the middle of the desert. Look at this. It's like a mirage, no? Yeah, it's an oasis. Yeah, oasis. I mean, it's an oasis. 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 It's basil in the Nevada desert. Wow. And you know what? This is hydroponic, so I believe we can eat it, you know, without washing it. I'm going to take this small it's very, leaf here. It's very tasty. Yeah. yeah. Very good, huh? We're just missing the tomato and mozzarella now. And some good olive oil. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe some bread and a glass of wine. What do you think? Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Beautiful, amazing. I believe one of the guys in charge here is called Will, and I think we should meet Will. And maybe he can tell us a little bit more about what there is here at Hydro Green Farms. Yeah. Here I am with these two amazing people who are responsible for this farm here, this oasis in the middle of the desert. Basil, Bob, yeah. how are you? Good. And Will. Yeah. So guys, tell me a little bit about how this works. Sure. Uh, and the key element here is control. We can control the water system, which is purified through UV lighting, sterilization, and reverse osmosis. And uh, more importantly, we control the nutrients that grow through the design growth system. And uh, with those elements, I think we've created a fantastic uh, product and a way to grow food. It's amazing. And you know what? I think I'm going to be using some of this basil in my restaurant, too. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Pleasure. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks. Here we are in this most beautiful restaurant, Restaurant Guy Savoie in Las Vegas. And what an honor to be here with father and son. How did you get into cooking? I was a kid. Okay. And my mother made a small, sweet... Langue de chat. Langue de chat, the famous de French mm. gâteau. Cat's tongues. Very, very, very good and, and crispy. Okay. And my eyes of kid. It's, it's magic. Cooking, it's magic. That's great. And this day, I decide to become a cook. And every day, for each course, I think the cuisine is magic. You have such an international reputation. So your mother, she really started something great. And I, I congratulate you. Your main restaurant in Paris with three Michelin stars. And here in Las Vegas, two Michelin stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a he chef. He has to work. He has to work. <laughs> you, you, I, you, you keep a good eye on him, I'm sure, yeah? <laughs> but uh, I want to add something. These accolades are, are nothing compared to my accolades that I have every night. 
I want each of my single tables okay. to have the best experience in the, in the world, to have pleasure. And I want to sell happiness. That's great. I'm feeling pretty hungry and I think it's time yeah. we go in, kitchen, in the kitchen and we yes. should cook something. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And I want you to teach me many things, please. <laughs> okay, and I'll come and help. Okay, so let's okay. go to the kitchen. No? Okay, okay. On you go. Guy's first course is Colors of Caviar. Layers of caviar cream and vinaigrette are topped with layers of haricot vert. That is, pureed green beans, and then more caviar, crowned with a warm sabayon sauce. It's a caviar lover's dream. Just look at this amazing kitchen here in Las Vegas at Guy Savoy's restaurant. Today I have this huge honor of being with the master himself to cook some amazing dishes. And yeah. today is actually the three year anniversary of Guy Savoy here in Las Vegas. Yeah. So congratulations Guy, three years. I am a baby. You're a baby, yeah. So we're gonna celebrate this three year anniversary with this beautiful caviar dish. So what do we need to make this dish, Guy? We, we need... Um, Gelatin. Okay, leaf uh, gelatin. A little, a little bit. Huh? Double cream. Double cream. And we need uh, uh, a special sauce between vinaigrette and mayonnaise. I can see that. Yes, yes. It's, it's a vinaigrette with uh, one... Uh, one egg yolk. Egg yolk. Sherry vinegar. And sherry vinegar. And mustard. Mustard, of course. That mustard helps. And uh, oil. Uh, Rape seed oil. Pepin yes. de raisin. Pepin de raisin. And we need... Green, green beans. The famous uh, green, green beans. beans. Here we have the vinaigrette. So the salt, pepper, it's, vinegar, mustard. This sauce is special. It's a, between vinaigrette and mayonnaise. So that is the vinaigrette. And what are we going to do with this? We're going to add to it some gelatin, yeah? Yes, wet. The gelatin is soft, soft. soaked. We're draining it. Okay, so one okay. for the vinaigrette and one for the cream. We, so look how look how thick that cream is, and that is that is that it hasn't been whipped. It's just the the richness of the cream itself. You're gonna take off all that dry. excess water. Yes. Okay. Okay. This one is with the vinaigrette. Okay. And this one with the cream. You can blend. That looks beautiful. That looks is Russian. Russian caviar. So Russian Ossetra caviar. Personally, you know, I like Ossetra a lot. But this caviar is Russia um, from the Caspian Sea. And the sturgeon that it was fished from is approximately 14 years of age. Yeah. Mm. So good. Very good. On fait la poche, it around your mouth, you get all those beautiful flavors. The Caspian Sea, so fresh, so clean. So deep, we're gonna put, you're putting the, the vinaigrette into a, a piping bag. Yes. And I'm gonna do the same with the cream, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So here I have the disposable piping bag. Yeah. And I'm gonna put all this lovely cream, caviar, oh my gosh. Such luxury, you know? So Guy is putting in the caviar and he's just spreading it around into the corners of the glass. About a, a teaspoon. With green beans, okay. we do a puree. Okay. okay. We cooked with in some a, in a, salted water. In water. Okay. And you mixed very, very thin. You to make a puree. Yes, to make a, a very... Very smooth. Very smooth puree. And you strain yes. the puree. Okay. okay. We put another more caviar. Yeah. Wow. So that famous French word sabayon. What does sabayon mean? Basically, a sabayon is taking egg yolks and a liquid. It could be it could be wine, it could be water, it could be lemon juice. But in this case, what are we putting with our egg yolks to make the sabayon? Only water. Water. Only water. Just Only. water. Okay. Okay. So the two egg yolks. Wait. And you are going to whisk that vigorously over the heat. 
the first outside, huh? Outside, because just to bring the temperature up slowly. A okay. nice big spoon yes. of that. It's okay. Hakobak, it's okay. Caviar from the Mississippi River. That looks amazing, I mean, that, that yeah. warm, velvety Savayan. Sogi, such a celebration dish. I'm sure that you're going to be serving something very special yeah. with this. Mm. What wine are you going to serve? Champagne? Champagne, of course. Okay. Mm. In. It's good, yeah. White, white wine, a good Chardonnay from from, from, from the, the United States, yes, from California maybe, yeah? Yes, California is not far. The colors of caviar. Oh my gosh. So all of those beautiful textures. That is luxury. Luxury. Thank you, Ashley. Thank, thank you, huh? and thank you for starting the meal up with this amazing, uh, amazing dish. Our main course is a famous Guy Savoie creation. Pan Sid Sebas that includes the skin and the scales. It's served with black trumpet mushrooms, julienne strips of Swiss chard, then drizzled with a vanilla and ginger infused butter sauce. So this is one of Guy's signature recipes and I've actually heard a little bit, little bit about this recipe. He actually cooks the fish with the skin and with the scales. And we can eat the scales. Okay, and that is interesting because usually we always so careful to take the scales off the fish. So I'm really interested to, to know how you do this. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Let's do it. Okay. On your back. Okay. So Guy, we have the your beautiful spice mix. We have yes. the, the sea bass, and that sea bass has come from Brittany. France. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. And um, it was line caught, you know? No, it's very fresh, firm. So we here need we have Swiss chard. Swiss chard, okay. yes. And we need uh, black, black, black trumpet, trumpet mushroom. Trumpet, Mush trumpet mushroom. It's, mushroom. It's huh? beautiful trumpet yes. mushroom. Okay. Used a lot in France. I remember okay. when I worked using that a lot. Okay. Okay, so but, first thing. I know, we prepare it with the chard. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to take, remove the green. It's very similar to, to celery. You, you need to take all, yeah. all of those uh, stringy yes, things off. Left. We're going to cook that. We're going to cook it with a blanc. Blanc, yes. That's with, right. A blanc, and it's uh, just water yeah. with flour. And lemon juice, no? And lemon juice and, and salt. salt. That's all. Why, why blanc? Because... To keep it blanc? Yes. To keep it white. I remember that was something I learned many and years ago in France. Yes. Le blanc. A very yes. famous way of cooking. Um, Keeps it white. Yes. Good. Okay, so the Swiss chard, we're gonna cook it in this blanc for five minutes, Guy, no? Yes, five. We taste. Until it's, we exactly. taste. That's the most important thing when we're it's cooking. There's no rules. Taste. You have to try. Yes. So we're gonna take those out and we're gonna put them in some iced water to refresh them so they become chill. Good. Okay. Right. So that's the Swiss chard cooked. This is the, exactly the same thing. All we have done is we blended these beautiful spices in a spice blender. Equally, you know, it's really good. You can actually put this in a, in a pepper mill and you can do it. It's entirely however you want to do it. Pepper mill or a spice mill. Is this just regular salt key or is yes, it? Yes, salt. So okay, regular simple salt. salt. Simple salt, yeah. Yeah. And the spice. Spice, very... Um, that smells good. Huh? Yes, it's really good. I want to try that now that it's blended Not together. Not too much, but no. Yeah, it's very important like, to respect the flavor of the fish. Huh? Like a pepper and salt, huh? Not more. We we start the skin side down. Down. Okay. And we are waiting for very hot. Yeah. Because the the scales will be uh, crispy. It's necessary for them to be crispy. Yes. Okay. So the oil is very hot. The oil is at almost smoking point, so it's very hot. Make sure you don't get it too hot because you don't want to burn the oil. So ça fait comme une croûte. Yeah. So we can see, as we can see, the the skin has a nice crust. It looks crunchy. It looks yes. appetizing. And the color is very. And it's very well, well right. seared. Yes. You know, I, I love the, the dark 
yeah, coloration and, there. And the fried bun is very hot. Okay. So we turn the, the sea bar. And then we leave it to cook with the heat of the yes. pan. Okay. So good, that looks good. So for the sauce, here yes. we have, um, so we made the fish stock. We made the fish stock with the head of the fish and the, the bones with some ginger and some Tahitian vanilla. So this beautiful aromatic stock, I mean, really the smell in the kitchen uh, yes, is, is beautiful. The classic French uh, method, monte yeah. au beurre. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So very little bit of your spice, spice mix. Very like a pepper. Okay. Okay. Mmm. You can smell, before tasting it, you can smell the vanilla. Yeah, you know what is. I mean? It's very, very tasty and sweet. But you know what? It's elegant. That's, Thank what, you. I, that's what I love about your food. It's Thank elegant. You. Thank you. Really good. So the, this famous mushroom, trompet, black trumpet, used so often in France. We've washed them about three times, you know, because often, you know, you get a lot of sand and grit in them. So we've washed them. And then we've actually, we've torn them um, with our hands, we've ripped them, and we're gonna simply cook them in a little bit of beurre noisette. Brown butter is actually the correct uh, terminology in English. We put the Swiss chard in. Right, so that looks great. So we have our Swiss chard, our trompet mushrooms, that fish, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, it looks really good. And the sauce. So we're just giving a final touch with a hand blender to the sauce. This is very important. This aerates the sauce, it makes it lighter, it emulsifies the butter. And look how foamy and beautiful that's coming. So this beautiful aromatic sauce, so light, Flavorful and very, very elegant. What would you drink with this, Guy? A French wine? Of course. Why? Of course, well, yeah. That looks great, Guy. Bon appétit, huh? Bon appétit. Okay, on y va. Guy's rice pudding in French, riolet is a family recipe handed down from his mother and grandmother. It uses very basic ingredients, rice, sugar, vanilla, milk, and cream. But only the finest ingredients will do. Rice pudding. Oh my gosh. Rice pudding. Riolé. The riolé. Right. The secret is a vanilla. Okay. The beans, beans vanilla, very, very, Fresh, I can see. Very you, fresh you can see and it's shiny fat, and fat, fat and fat and full of vanilla seeds. Yeah, so and good. Smell. Wow. Never, never use. No, 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 no. Don't say vanilla it. Essence. Ar oh no, no, no. It has to never. be it's, fresh vanilla. It's, a vanilla part. Absolutely. It's, it's very simple, but the secret is only that. And you, you've got an amazing <laughs> yeah. dessert. And this is Guy Savoy saying it. Are you going to make this with me or? No, for that. Okay. We. We call the young, talented pastry chef. Okay. That's on Guisavoy in Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, Diane. 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 Okay, so Diane. Diane. Wow. It's so nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm How Ashley. You? Good. So later you come and try, no? Yes. Yeah, okay, a tout à l'heure. We have all these beautiful ingredients. Right. So we have some vanilla. Some vanilla beans, some fresh vanilla beans. Okay. Italian arborio rice. That is cuisine culture. French restaurant using Italian rice to make rice pudding. This is just some cream. Okay. Just regular cream. Regular some, whipping cream? Yes, some heavy cream. Heavy and cream. some milk. So full fat milk. Yes. Oh, sugar. Some regular granulated sugar. Okay, And Great. that is it. The rice, we blanch in the boiling water. Okay. Just like and, so. And how much rice do we have there? This is about 200 grams of arborio rice. 200 grams of arborio rice. So we just give it a stir. Make sure Here we work in metric because we're a French restaurant yes. and everything is in grams. Right, grams. Okay, it's so 200 grams. 200 grams approximately 7 ounces. 
and there's quite a large quantity of boiling water. Right. And we let it blanch. We let it boil in there for seven minutes. Seven minutes, yeah, okay. Just to par cook it. And is that to par cook it? But actually that probably also removes a little bit of the starch. Yes, yeah, a little bit of the starch okay. to make sure it doesn't after Become the product too is finished. Thin. It's not like a raw bread. Right? Exactly, because our boil rice is very it's a very, very high starch content. So Diana, I bring the rice over, we're gonna strain it in the sink. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to put the, the cream milk. Cream and the milk okay. and the sugar. Do I put together. all of this? Yes, you do. Wow. It takes so, up how all much of have we got here? About two liters? It's about 1,500 grams. 1,500 grams, so one and a half liters. And how many uh, fluid ounces is that? 1,500 grams. You know, I've always worked in a French restaurant. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry because about you, can, liters. you can find these exact quantities on the website. Okay? So that is the milk. milk. Whole fat milk. And here's some whipping cream. So all of that cream. And we're also gonna put the sugar. The sugar I think was like two three hundred grams, no? Yes. Three hundred grams. I think that's approximately ten ounces. No, 10, 11, 11 ounces. Eleven ounces of white sugar. In that goes. So I'm gonna stir that, and you're gonna. I think you're gonna split, cut, the, vanilla. split the vanilla. Right. Okay. Good Take point. the back of your knife. Just scrape it off, just like so. And we're gonna throw all of this in the pot with the milk and the cream Great. and the sugar. Good. Right. So Perfect. the rice. Now the rice. Okay. I'm gonna stir that. I think we're going to bring this up to a boil, no? You bring it up to a simmer, a very okay. low simmer, so it doesn't burn or stick. You stir every once in a while to make sure nothing sticks at the bottom okay. until the rice is cooked. Like okay. about an hour, hour and a half. You have one that's ready, huh? Yes, I do. Okay. I have one here for you in a piping bag, just like so. I like that. That is a great professional tip, you know? This clip on the end of the piping bag, we all do this. If you want to keep something in a piping bag, in the refrigerator, we put one of these clips. So there we go. So we'll take that off. Yeah, we'll take that off. And we're gonna pipe this in okay. like so. That looks good. Try to make sure there are no air bubbles. That looks delicious. There you oh go. my gosh. Just look at that rice pudding. Look at it. Mmm. What a great day I've had today. I think I'm gonna need to go jogging now. Oh no. I mean, look, look at how creamy it is. Mm. Diane, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your amazing thank recipe you. Thank you. with us all. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for your time. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. As I mentioned earlier, tonight is very special for Guy Savoie. We're celebrating three years of Guy Savoy in Las Vegas. Barbara Fairchild, editor-in-chief of the famous Bon Appetit magazine. And here we are at the restaurant Guy Savoy I know, in look at how Vegas. beautiful this is. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm always hungry when I'm around Guy Savoy. Good. That's the only That's the only way to be when you're around Guy Savoy. Good, good, good. <laughs> I have come to the, uh, the, the event here every year, obviously, as the okay. editor-in-chief, but I always come to Guy Savoy on Thursday night because I, you know, love his cooking. It's obviously so close by to LA where That's the right. magazine is based. Great. And he's a wonderful man and, a, he, and he obviously really a master chef, but he's Absolutely. such a great human being and you know, he's a little he's a little mischievous. We like that. We we've, def <laughs> we've definitely had a lot of fun. That is for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you in your kitchen. I have had an amazing day. This great master, Guy Savoy, here in Las Vegas. I just want to say thank you. And as well at home, I hope you're going to try some of these authentic French recipes. I am Ashley James, Guy Savoy, Cuisine Culture. And we look forward to seeing you for another exciting adventure. So to that, I think we need to say chin chin, huh? <laughs> and bon, bon anniversaire. Bon anniversaire. Happy three years of uh, Guy Savoy Las Vegas. And thank you so much, Guy. The recipes 
tips and information about today's program, visit us online at www.quizzingculture.tv.